Drome, France, June 21, 2024. France declare a state of natural disaster after rain and hailstorms lashed a swathe of the southeast on Saturday, devastating crops. A violent hailstorm hit the several areas in France, including Livron Serdrome, L'Oréal Serdrome, and Montoisin sector this Friday afternoon. Fruit trees were affected, firefighters were called to cover damaged roofs. The flash storms, which brought hailstones as big as ping pong balls to some areas, damaged many roof home and cars. The worst hit area, the Rhone Alps region, is at the heart of France's food production and known as the Orchard of France. The hailstone smashed car windscreens and also damaged homes, schools and public buildings. Several trees fell on train lines and fire and emergency services struggled to deal with smashed roofs. More than 2,000 homes were without electricity on Saturday. In the same area, in L'Oréal Serdrome, the local residents deplores damage to his fruits. According to him, there are only 10 to 15 percent of the fruits reaching maturity, peach and apricot trees. The arborist therefore deplores heavy losses, in particular because of the duration of the storm. The hailstones were as big as marbles or bigoros, but above all they didn't stop for almost half an hour. Even kiwis, although well protected by the foliage, were affected. According to him, it is mainly peach and apricot trees that are affected. Not only that, at the end of the afternoon, the dreaded hailstorm finally hit the vineyards south of Macon. The anti-hail generators, which had operated, and it is on an axis going from Saint Amour Bellevue to Loch via Saint Verand, Chans, Chainter, Cresces sur Saone, and Vinzels. That the hailstones fell, causing damage, judged today to be quite significant. France Info published photographs showing uprooted trees, floods, and storm destruction. Videos on social networks showed the scale of the disaster. The local prefect tweeted photographs of a school with its windows smashed and of the agriculture minister meeting firefighters called in to deal with the flooding and damage. According to the president of the Vinzels Cooperative Cellar, several areas have suffered between 30% and 40% loss. The counties hit head-on by powerful ice projectiles, sometimes measuring more than 2 centimeters. Certain sectors, such as Powelly Vinzels and Powelly Lach, would only be affected by 10 to 20 percent. Nine French departments were put on alert at the weekend after warnings of violent storms, hail and winds. When the storm struck, they were brief but catastrophic, particularly in the Drome and Isère. The storm lasted 30 minutes, but that 30 minutes caused a lot of damage in a 10 kilometers zone in the Drome, the minister added. Guillaume said many farmers had lost 80 to 100 percent of their crops. He added that the state of disaster would be declared when the extent of the devastation was known in a day or two. A fruit grower from La Roche de Glun, at the one of center of the storm, said most of his apricots, peaches and cherries had been destroyed. Chardon, president of the local farmers' union, said he had never before witnessed weather like it. The damage is enormous in a wide area cereals, greenhouses, vegetable crops as well as vines have been hit, he said. In other places, farmers reported hail the size of golf balls and up to tennis balls decimated their cars, roof, orchards and vineyards. In some cases, entire harvests were destroyed. In reality, 
it seems to be more the plots to the south of the communes of the St. Varan appellation, which were affected. Those where Gamay and therefore Beaujolais are produced. The hail seems to have chosen its camp in this border area. The heavy rains with stormy or not, continue to increase mildew pressure in the Mackinais as elsewhere. The urgency of dry weather for several weeks is more pressing than ever. The storm also caused significant material damage in the municipalities of Najak sur mer Galen and Madoc, Auerton and Vendis Montalivet, the Gironda Departmental Council, in close collaboration with the municipalities concerned, have identified social emergency situations. To help the affected residents, the departmental teams will deploy the Buzin, next to the town hall of Najak sur mer The storm has been omnipresent this week. A deluge of hail not only in Maine Tilwar and Normandy, but also in Frazen's Jura, where the hailstones completely covered the street transforming it into a bed of ice. June 21st is where the sun is highest. It warms the atmosphere, and these disturbances associated with warmer air are much more unstable, and therefore they give more frequent thunderstorms. Oh yeah, but putain, but it's des balles de ping-pong, 